Hello everyone, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. In today's video, I am doing a twin flame reading. So this is a beginning of the week check-in for the twin flame collective. I also wanted to make a few channel announcements. So, and as I was saying that, of course, I started shuffling the cards and one card just flew out. There must be a lot of powerful and intense messages coming through today because it's very rare a card will fly out that early in the reading. But anyway, as I'm shuffling, I just wanted to share with you that from now on, I am going to be establishing a new posting schedule. So I will be doing twin flame readings Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I'm going to start posting at the same time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and starting Wednesday, because today I think this video will come out a little bit later in the day, but starting Wednesday, I will also be doing these readings as live premieres, and I'm just testing this as kind of a new feature because I know that when something is premiered live, there is a chat box, and I thought it would be fun to kind of be able to listen to my own reading with all of you guys and to chat with you in the chat box and to answer some of your questions and that kind of thing as the reading plays out, just to really build more of a sense of community for all of us here. So again, I will be starting that new posting schedule on Wednesday and in between those readings, those kind of energy check-ins for Twin Flames, I may also be posting more random, less formal kind of just information videos. So this is where I might answer questions that you have in the comments in video format. So about different kinds of Twin Flame topics that many of you have been asking me to speak about. So do let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations for specific Twin Flame topics you would like me to create these videos about. I also will be posting more consistently on my Instagram at Magnetize Yourself, so you can follow me there if you want more frequent updates and messages and just inspiring content for us along this Twin Flame journey. I also just want to say thank you so much to all of you who do listen to these readings and who share your time and your energy here. I always say this, but I truly do believe that by listening, you aren't just passively listening, but actually co-creating all of this information, all of these messages. And I am just so grateful for this beautiful community we're building here together. Okay, so obviously that one card already came out and I'm going to shuffle and see if we can get any future or further cards, further messages. While I'm shuffling, by the way, if you would like me to channel specific messages for you and your situation, be sure that you are subscribed to this channel and also click the like button on this video because by liking and subscribing, I'm actually able to sense your energy virtually through this reading and really channel more specific messages for you and your situation. So what do Twin Flames listening to this reading need to know at this time? What messages can I bring forth for the Twin Flame Collective? Okay, another card just flew out, so that gives us two cards here. Are there any more messages I can channel specifically for Twin Flames? By the way, I will be using my love word scramble because I know some of you really connected with some of the specific words that came out in my last reading, but just do know whenever I bring out these specific words, these are meant to apply to very specific individuals listening. So these won't resonate with everyone, but some of the initial words that came out were Japan and careful. So I'm going to see if those connect in any way. For some reason, I heard someone could be acting careful or cautious about the way that they are approaching interaction within this connection. I know that's kind of a vague message, but I'm hoping I can get more specifics on that later on. Are there any more initial messages I can bring out for Twin Flames at this time? Okay. 
you know what, maybe it's just these first two cards that we are meant to hear because the cards seem to be kind of going quiet for me now, so I'm just going to start with these two cards here. Wow, okay, so first card is Storm Warning in the reverse position, and for some reason I just kept hearing the storm is over, but I also heard the message like the storm is over, but someone from their ego perspective or their human perspective might not realize that this metaphorical storm is over like it still feels like they're in the middle of this storm kind of a strange message and hopefully i can get more specific on that later but then also the words that came out were washington hall and trade really interesting so the second card that i pulled initially was the fifth chakra card in the upright position and this card, of course, is symbolic of the throat chakra, connecting to our communication, the ways in which we are communicating. The fact that this card is upright tells me something, either someone desires to communicate here, or there could be some communication coming in within this connection. I do want to see if I can get more specific messages. So what is this fifth chakra card in the upright position? Whoa, okay second chakra card in the reverse position so this is connected to pleasure to intimacy to sensual connection but it's blocked in some way what a strange message we're getting here with these chakra cards i'm trying to kind of put the pieces together for you guys but bear with me as this seems to be kind of a complex message so i'm going to just kind of let it unfold naturally why is this sacral chakra blocked? Who is blocked in this connection? For some reason I heard I want to tell you why I've been closed off, but I don't know how. Okay, so the cards that came out were Angel of Love reversed and then Cornucopia in the upright position. For some reason with the Angel of Love reversed card here, I instantly felt the presence of most likely a masculine energy, although it could be feminine, a masculine energy saying, I do not feel worthy of your love. That is just instantly the feeling. It was like this gut-wrenching feeling, which might be why this sacral chakra card was coming out because this is connected, of course, to the second chakra, which is located really in like the lower stomach area. So I just got this gut-wrenching feeling of like, I don't feel worthy of your love. But then with the cornucopia card in the upright position, this is like, the 1111 card. It's actually the number 11 in the deck. And I just heard kind of, but I want it anyway. It's like, I don't feel worthy of you, but I desire this future with you. For some reason, as I was meditating prior to this reading, I got this message that I felt was from a masculine, which was, I just want to admire you from afar because I don't feel I have anything to offer you, but I also don't have anything I want to take from you. It was like this message of, I don't feel worthy of your love, but I just idealize you. Like I see you, I admire you at a distance. And I know that won't be for everyone. It's just kind of a strange message that was coming through this morning for someone I knew would be listening to this reading. I wanna know, why this person, this energy I'm connecting with, doesn't feel worthy of love. Why doesn't this energy, potentially this masculine, feel worthy of love? The world card in the reverse position so this card upright has to do with expansion. So the fact this card is reversed, it's like, I'm closed off and I'm aware that I'm closed off, but I don't want to be. It's like this, it's almost like this conflict between this energy again, potentially a masculine, but we will get into that later, who is feeling this, this inner conflict. There's this inner conflict between wanting to open up, wanting to, to expand this connection. 
wanting to connect this vision, this ideal of the feminine with this concrete physical reality, wanting to manifest a physical future within this connection, but then feeling unworthy. And because of those feelings of unworthiness of love, closing themselves off in the physical. And yet, even if they aren't communicating this, it's like underlying all of this is this fifth chakra card in the upright position, this desire to communicate about all of this, this desire to open up. I feel like I just keep wanting to say this is a masculine, but I will get into that later on. It's like whoever this person is, they are longing to be more open. They are longing to manifest a kind of concrete future within this connection. And yet I feel as though they might not be showing that to this other energy again, potentially this other, this feminine energy in the physical. The word father came out and then stopped in the word scramble. So I feel that this energy I'm connecting with could be dealing with a father wound. I want to see specifically what the details are on that. So I am going to reshuffle the deck just to see if I can get clear messages about this. For those of you who are new here, when we talk about a mother or father wound on this channel, which many of you are going to be familiar with, but we're really talking about some kind of formative interactions that happened in childhood with one's parent, either the mother or the father, some kind of pattern that they were given of behavior from a young age, a very formative age, that then continues to affect how they interact with others, especially when it comes to romantic situations. It's like this pattern subconsciously that was created in their mind because of the behavior they witnessed or experienced from a mother or father figure in their life. So adjacent possibilities in the reversed position came out. Okay, so I see a masculine energy in childhood, like slamming a door, like a childhood bedroom, like feeling a lot of pent up anger and frustration. That is just like what I saw from this card. And I just heard it felt impossible. Like my childhood situation felt impossible. Yes, stairs. So I see someone, stairs is the word that came out, but I see someone like walking upstairs to a bedroom, slamming the door and just like, like crying out of frustration, like just feeling so frustrated. I want to know why this energy is frustrated. I feel like I'm sensing into a memory of a masculine and I'm not sure. Again, I feel this will just be for one person, but it's like this, I'm reading into the root cause of why they are interacting a certain way in this romantic interaction. Okay, so I want to know what this image is coming from. Why is this image coming up of this child, potentially this masculine energy, slamming a door, feeling really frustrated in childhood. Door to value in the reverse position. I heard this is when I first felt worthless. So I'm really sensing into some kind of inner child wound for someone here in this twin flame connection. And this image I was given was actually showing me the formative experience that set this pattern for worthlessness. The pattern for this person feeling then unworthy of love when it comes to their twin flame connection and the reason why they are closing themselves off. It's like this frustration, this emotional repression that first occurred in childhood in a dynamic with a parent, most likely a father figure, has continued to affect this energy in the present and is why they they continue to repress their emotions and feel unworthy of love within this twin flame connection. It's like, this is what this energy came here to heal. That's like what I'm sensing very strongly. It's like part of what they came to this earth to experience and then to transmute, meaning to change the darkness into light, to take this very dark, challenging experience and transform it. And that's actually part of what they are learning through this twin flame connection. This energy I'm connecting with is actually reconnecting with their own worthiness of love, connection, and free emotional expression within romantic relationships. That is part of what this person came here to learn on like a soul level. Wow, very intense messages to start off this reading. And I hadn't even really got into the specifics for the feminine and the masculine. This is just what was wanting to come through. 
So I actually want to get more general messages about what's going on in this connection because that was very oddly specific. I know that message won't be for everyone. And even for those of you listening, I know many of you are feminines and I feel that that message was mostly going to be coming from the masculine energy side. So that might be something that as a feminine listening, you might not even be consciously aware of about your masculine, but something that he might want you to know. So now I want to know specifics about just what is going on in the dynamic in this connection. I want to know in the physical 3D world, what is going on with this twin flame connection in the physical? So... The words that came out in the word scramble just initially were European, hope, and voice. For some reason I heard like, you gave me hope, like is it false hope? It's like the ego stepping in wondering if this is a false hope. With the voice word, for some reason I was channeling messages yesterday about how someone was really hearing their twin flame's voice either on a recording or in person or something like that. And just thinking about how they feel so connected to their twin's voice. And I felt guided to share information about why this is, why we are so connected with the sound of our twin flame's voice. And part of this is because they share our core soul frequency. And through the voice, we are actually able to pick up on one's authenticity, like on one's soul frequency. So when you hear your twin flame's voice, it's like, they carry their voice, carries the resonance of their soul, which is identical to yours. So that is why Twin Flames feel so connected to the sound of one another's voice. I would actually be interested in creating potentially a podcast episode with more information on this, if that's something you'd be interested in. Okay, so the cards that came out when I was just asking about how this Twin Flame connection is playing out in the physical was patience in the reverse position and then angel of love in the upright position. So with patience reversed, I instantly heard that someone is feeling impatient within this connection. I want to get more specifics on that. Okay, so as I asked for specifics, the cards that came out were fifth chakra and the upright position, which again, the throat chakra card coming out again, and then the 11 card coming out again, the manifestation card, the cornucopia card. So it's like, I'm growing impatient. I hear someone in this connection saying, I'm growing impatient because I have so much I want to say to you. I want to communicate with you and I want to manifest a future in the physical within this connection. It's like, I feel this person just restless, like antsy, feeling like I'm tired of waiting around. I'm tired of visualizing this future and not seeing it manifest around me. I'm tired of not fully communicating with you. I'm growing impatient. That is what I hear this, this energy saying. Now with Angel of Love, I actually want to read a little bit about this card. It's funny this card came out in the reverse position earlier and now it's in the upright position. So I'm going to read a little bit about the guidebook from this card to see if I can get some specifics. Okay, so it says, if you're longing for a deeper, more intimate connection with someone already in your life, She's here to say, or the angel in the image of this card is here to say, that far greater tenderness is available to you. Either way, remember that your first intention for tenderness must be directed inward, and that the compassion you demonstrate toward yourself will influence the energetic potential of these events in a significant way. The angel of love is smiling on you and forging connections in the energetic realm, Wow, okay, so I feel this message is kind of an overarching message coming from spirit here, coming from the divine, coming from our self, our higher self, and our twin flame's higher self. And what I hear from this card is a gentle reminder that it's like whoever is feeling impatient in this connection, they are very focused right now on what is absent in the physical realm within this connection, but they are being gently guided to remember that this connection already exists energetically. It's like the bond they desire with this person has always existed and will always exist and cannot weaken and cannot be broken. It simply becomes 
clouded by our own blocks to unconditional love that begin within, that begin by the ways in which we are incapable of fully loving, accepting, and embracing our own self. And I feel someone being guided to shift their attention from it's like this physical 3D absence or perceived absence of love, absence of communication, absence of manifested love connection with their twin, and to really remember this this overarching connection, like this connection that is strong and beneath all of this. And although it is invisible, it is always available to you, available to us as twin flames. It's like always there beneath the surface. It's kind of hard to find the physical words to describe the kind of energy I'm channeling from this card, but I do hope that whoever needed that kind of reminder or message receives that message. Also, the word piano and the word Casey, the name Casey came out, and also flag. I'm not sure if that connects specifically any of those to anyone. For some reason, I heard red flags. I feel like someone in this connection could have been talking to a family member or a friend or even just it's like their own ego telling them oh no like watch out for the red flags or something i want to know more about this red flag information that's coming out the thinking woman okay so i usually connect this card in the upright position to the presence of a divine feminine ego so i feel as though some divine feminine listening either within your own mind your ego mind you've started worrying or searching for quote unquote like red flags in this connection and it, or alternatively this could be someone in your life a friend a family member an acquaintance a coworker, someone who has been like saying, oh, you're missing the red flags about your twin flame or there's like a red flag here. But I feel as though these red flags, it's like this is somehow coming from the ego or if not coming from your own ego, it's someone else causing your ego to flare up through some kind of conversation with them. And I feel you will know this is coming from ego and not from soul because... Wow, guys, this is so funny. I was about to say you'll know because you'll feel if this is you, it's like this conversation or this thought gives you this anxious, sick feeling in your stomach. And it's funny because I was about to say that. And then the card that came out is the third chakra card, which is the solar plexus, which connects with the kind of upper stomach area. And that was actually the area I was referring to when I was talking about this sensation of nausea or sickness you might get when your ego is flaring up in this way. And part of why you are feeling this way potentially is because if it is an external interference, like a friend, a family member, someone who is speaking to you negatively about your twin flame or your connection, or they're saying, oh, look, look out for the red flags or you're missing the red flags or something like that. What happens is that person is actually energetically, perhaps unconsciously, and perhaps in a well-meaning way, but regardless, they are infringing on your energetic boundaries. And through the third chakra, this is where we form and hold strong energetic boundaries with others. It is the source of our core confidence and sense of strong identity. So it's like, when this person is speaking negatively about you and your life and your connection, things that frankly even though they might be well-meaning, this isn't their path to speak on. It's not their situation. It's not their connection. When they project their opinions and limiting beliefs onto you and onto your twin flame connection, you are feeling this sometimes in your stomach area as this stomach pain or anxiety or sick kind of feeling to your stomach because they are trying to infringe on something your soul knows to be true. It's like you have this strong sense of who you are, confidence in who you are as both an individual and within your twin flame connection. 
And it's like this person is projecting their negativity onto your aura. Like, and I'm not saying they're doing this on purpose. This could even be unconsciously, but it's like, I see literally visually this person's negativity, their, their own limiting beliefs becoming stuck in your energy field. So be really cautious when it comes to these people about protecting your energy. Personally, I have also experienced this myself, this kind of being around people who project limiting beliefs or negativity onto you and then you can almost just feel it in your body your physical body in your energy body in your aura which this is why i like to meditate with a seven chakra clearing subliminal every single morning because i found that listening to this seven chakra clearing really helps to clear out any blocks in each part of my energy field each of the main energy centers we refer to as the seven chakras and especially in this case it's going to be the solar plexus chakra that you will probably feel this energy heaviest where you will feel this kind of energy infringement the most in the solar plexus area, which again is kind of the stomach, the upper stomach area. So if you are specifically feeling this way, I would either recommend meditating to the seven chakra clearing I've created. This really contains seven binaural beat frequencies that resonate with the highest activated frequency of each of the seven chakras, as well as containing several unconscious affirmations targeted to each of these seven chakra centers. I do have this subliminal available in different sounds, so music sounds, rain, ocean waves, and white noise, and it's available on my website soundandsoulful.com, which as you can see on the screen, on this website I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life, so I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence, and happiness for specific material manifestations like money or business success and also for twin flames i have an entire section of subliminals dedicated exclusively to the twin flame path and you can combine any of these subliminals into custom playlists you can create an unlimited number of playlists containing an unlimited number of subliminals and these playlists will loop automatically so you can listen to them overnight while you sleep or during the day and you can also listen to any subliminal i've created in multiple different sounds just based on your preference so again, this seven chakra clearing is linked in the pinned comment and description box under this video. I will also link under this video any other subliminals I recommend during this reading, and you can try out any of them completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website. So again, for this chakra clearing specifically, I would recommend either my seven chakra clearing or if you would like to specifically focus on this third chakra, this solar plexus chakra we were speaking about, I will also leave a link to my solar plexus chakra activation, which is just more hyper focused on clearing out blocks specifically and solely from the solar plexus chakra if you feel guided to that instead or in addition to the seven chakra clearing so with all of that being said i do feel that i kind of have a sense for a few different dynamics going on in this connection and i would like to speak specifically to the divine masculine and then to the divine feminine okay so let's begin by speaking to the divine masculine in this situation although to be honest with you guys i feel as though we were already getting a few specific messages from both the masculine and the feminine which is kind of unusual to get right when i'm reading into the general initial energies so i feel like the masculine definitely has a lot to say here okay so what does the masculine in this connection want to say? What messages can I channel from the divine masculine for twin flames listening to this reading at this time? What is the masculine thinking and feeling in the 3D world? Let's start there because you guys know I like to read into the messages from the 3D physical perspective as well as a higher self perspective. So what is this masculine thinking or feeling on a 3D physical level? Whoa, okay. One card just flew out. Let's see if there are any other messages. How is the masculine thinking, feeling, or acting in the 3D physical world? Hmm. 
How is this masculine thinking or feeling or acting in the physical world? You know what, the cards have now gone silent, so let's just go ahead and flip over this first card. Okay, this card is door to romance in the reverse position. For some reason I heard, I feel locked out from this love. Like I feel left out in the cold, I feel locked out. I feel locked out of your life. There's some kind of message like that. Okay, so I'm just going to see if I can get more specifics on this. I'm going to start by reading a little bit from the guidebook because I'm not entirely sure yet how this card applies. This card reversed indicates a delay or disappointment where love is concerned. For some reason I heard, I disappointed you and now I feel locked out. It's like I'm aware that I was a disappointment to you in some way in the physical world and now I feel locked out of this connection or locked out of your life. There's some kind of message like that. In a present relationship, it could also be a sign of distance or separation. This is really synchronistic because I was speaking earlier to feeling as though I was channeling this masculine who was just admiring the feminine from afar or like at a distance almost indicating that there was some kind of separation between the masculine and the feminine in the physical and yet this this admiration for some reason i heard for some it might even be like a secret admiration like something that this masculine isn't necessarily open about or speaking verbally about in the physical now another word that came out is low and also shade it's almost like for some reason I heard the message like I'm feeling really low like I feel like in the physical there's a masculine who has been feeling in a very low or dark place as a result of something that can like something that transpired within this connection I want to see if I can read more into this card by kind of pulling a few more messages here so why is this masculine feeling locked out from the feminine's life man holding a coin in the reverse position for some reason i heard when i lost you i feel like i lost everything i'm going to read a little bit about this card from the guidebook this card reversed reveals that you could be acting against your own best interest you might not be conscious of what's really important. Okay, so there's something about importance and priorities here. This masculine is becoming aware consciously that he did not prioritize either this connection or the feminine. It's like, I am now realizing my priorities were completely out of whack. I was focused on the wrong things and now I've lost everything. And now it's like my life is falling apart, but all I wanna do is hold on to you. Like you are all that I care about. That is kind of the message I'm getting from this, fem from this masculine. How was this masculine not prioritizing something or what? It's almost like this regret, like I wish I had prioritized differently. Why does this masculine feel like he prioritized wrongly? The name Jane came out and also rounds and mean were the other words that came out. Interesting. For some reason I heard beating around the bush, like not not moving forward, delaying in some way because of a, a lack of priorities or not correctly prioritizing. And then that kind of dynamic frustrating his feminine because this masculine like wasn't moving forward or something like that. Deceit in the reverse position. So I was asking how his priorities were out of whack and deceit reversed came out. For some reason I heard like when this card, this card being reversed, it's like, it felt like to me, I, it's like I deceived you in the past or I lied to you in the past or I wasn't, if it wasn't an active lie, it's like not fully opening up. This is really interesting. I want to know what did this masculine 
deceive the feminine about or not open up about. So the word experiment came out. And for some reason I heard it's like, there was a masculine, this won't be everyone, but there's some masculine here who, it's almost like they wanted to, in the physical, they made the feminine feel like they wanted to experiment with other people, meaning like they wanted to like try out other romantic connections or bring in third parties or something like that. But this all came from, I'm hearing like an artificial space, like an inauthentic space. It's not, it's like there's an illusion here. This isn't what they truly wanted, but this is how they made the feminine feel, if that makes sense, or even how they acted, but not what they wanted. I want to know more about this. And again, this will probably just be for a handful of people, but I want to know about this, like experimenting with third parties. Like why did this masculine, why did this masculine make the feminine feel like he wanted to bring in third parties or have connections with other people or something like that? Victory in the reverse position. For some reason I heard like our connection seems like an unattainable ideal, like something to be valued and admired from afar, but not something that I was actually worthy or capable of manifesting and sustaining in the physical. I think this goes back to this masculine again. We spoke earlier on this father wound and this potential this potential lack of worthiness, inner worthiness, sense of inner worthiness that could have caused this masculine to make the feminine feel as though she wasn't a priority to potentially even bring in these third parties or look as though they wanted to experiment with other romantic connections or people. But this isn't what this masculine really wanted. It's like, this is just this whole mess playing out in the physical. And again, I don't think this will apply to everyone. This is just the specific masculine energy that wanted to come through in this reading. So the word that came out is perfect. And for some reason I heard it's like, there's a masculine I'm connecting with who's a perfectionist and who actually like really idealized this divine feminine and this connection. And in fact, they idealized it so much, they didn't feel worthy of it. It's like they wanted it to be perfect. They wanted to present themselves perfectly to the divine feminine to create this perfect connection. But because they weren't fully connected with their own sense of inner worthiness, they self-sabotaged both themselves, this connection and what they truly wanted by acting very differently in the physical 3D world than what they actually wanted on a soul level. And again, it comes down to this lack of inner worthiness for this masculine I'm connecting with. Now, I do want to see if we can speak to this divine masculine's higher self because I'm feeling his higher self coming in here saying like, okay, I may have acted that way, but that's not what I really wanted. So I feel that this masculine's higher self, their soul self wants to say something about this situation. So what is this masculine feeling on a higher self level? So deceit came out in the upright position. It's like this masculine's higher self is saying all of that is a lie. It's like what I get from this card is this message like everything that this masculine in the 3D may have done to self-sabotage and to potentially sabotage this connection or to somehow push away the feminine or to even act as though they wanted to connect with other people romantically, whatever the case may be. Again, this will be very different depending on your situation. But whatever the case is, I hear this masculine's higher self saying, it's almost like don't listen to him, but referring to himself in the physical, like saying all of that was an illusion. All of that was coming from this inauthentic false space, this ego driven space. And none of that was what I truly wanted. It really goes back to really the energy is carrying forward from the last reading I did where I titled it, this masculine is acting the exact opposite of how he feels. I feel that energy carrying forward into this reading. So I want to know what this masculine's higher self is saying is an illusion or a lie. What is this masculine's higher self referring to when he talks about this illusion or this lie? What 
Wow, guys. Okay, so of course the t the yin yang, I almost called it the twin flame card because I do feel this card is the twin flame card in this deck, but the yin yang card came out in the upright position. I am getting chills all over because what a simple yet very powerful message here. It's like two very contrasting cards. The deceit card, which is one of the, in my opinion, one of the darkest kind of cards in the deck. And then the yin yang card, which in my opinion is one of the most spiritual, like twin flame, strongly associated cards in the deck. So you have this contrast here. And I feel like what this masculine's higher self is saying with the deceit card is, all of the ways in which I may have self-sabotaged or appeared to not have my priorities straight in the physical, all of that was the illusion. The truth is, and then it's like with this yin yang card, the truth is that I, on a soul level, am fully aware that we are twin flames, like fully aware of the divinity of this connection. And not just that, but I feel as though this higher self awareness of the truth of this connection is being downloaded into this divine masculine's 3D physical conscious mind. However, I feel like this has kind of been a process of integration for him, a difficult process of integration. I will do a video. I know many of you have been asking about it, but I will do a video on the twin flame in the matrix versus the so-called like spiritual twin, because this masculine feels as though he is the matrix twin, the twin flame who is very much fixated on this physical 3d matrix. And because of this physical 3d fixation, it's, it's a slower process of him for downloading these spiritual truths about this connection because if he were to download all of this knowing consciously at once, it would be way too overwhelming, too overpowering. So it's like he is slowly assimilating a deeper conscious understanding of this connection, but it is happening. And I hear his higher self affirming, yes, on a soul level, I am fully aware that we are twin flames. And it's almost this like apology for the slowness of this process, but also explaining it has to be this way for him because to download all of this powerful knowing about this connection, like instantaneously would be way too overpowering for his physical 3D self. It has to happen it has to happen more slowly for this masculine because he is the twin in the matrix, the more 3D physically focused, physically oriented twin in this situation. Wow, I can't believe the twin flame card came out for us there. That's a really, really powerful message that just came through from this masculine. I want to see if this masculine's higher self has anything else specifically to say to the feminine at this time. So what else does this masculine's higher self want to say to the divine feminine? Okay, so the community card came out in the upright position. I'm going to read more about this card. By the way, this is the number seven card. So you might be seeing a lot of the number 777. I do feel like that might just be for one person or a few people. You know what? I Because I'm thinking of that number, I am actually going to quickly look up that angel number specifically. You guys know that I like to look up specific angel numbers that connect with these readings as they come up. So... The number 777 is the sign of getting divine guidance, indicating the path of following your guardian angels and that you're going the right way to achieve success. This is really interesting. It's like, if this number is coming up for you, this 777, I feel that you are being reminded that you are on the right path, regardless of how things look physically in the world around you. So I want to read a little bit about this card and see if we can get any more messages from the masculine. Connection with kindred spirits. It's funny because this card uprights is kind of like the opposite of loneliness, the opposite of isolation. And for some reason, I feel this masculine really saying, I know that's divine feminine as a result of this 
very challenging yet very powerful and expansive spiritual path you have been on and we've been on together I know that recently you've experienced a lot of feelings of loneliness and isolation and I feel this masculine is saying I am aware on a higher self level that my physical self may have caused you some of these feelings of loneliness, some of these feelings of isolation and I am consciously aware of that and it's like this masculine is saying this time of isolation and loneliness for you is temporary, it's not going to last forever it's like as we continue along this path, as I continue to consciously integrate more of a, a knowing about this twin flame connection, as I continue experiencing this path of spiritual awakening, as we continue to grow and expand together, we are going to deepen our connection with one another in the physical. And I feel like this masculine, it's strange. It's like almost like he's comforting on a higher self level, comforting the divine feminine in a period of loneliness for her. It's like she's experiencing this loneliness, this, this isolation. And this masculine's higher self is coming in saying, I know it feels like you're alone, but this won't last forever. And also, even now, you are never alone. Like I am always with you on this higher self level, regardless of the ways we are interacting in the physical. So I am just going to pull a card from the Lover's Oracle because I'm feeling kind of guided to this deck. So what else does this masculine want to say on a higher self level to the Divine Feminine? By the way, someone I'm dealing with here could have long hair. I'm not sure why that just stood out to me, the image of a woman with long hair on this card. What else does this masculine's higher self want to say to the Divine Feminine? The name Tom came out. And also the word somewhere. I'm not sure how that connects with this reading. For some reason I heard like I know you're out there somewhere. I see someone like looking up at the stars at night and it's kind of cheesy, but this person is thinking like, I know as long as I, I can look up at the stars, like somewhere you're out there looking up at the same stars. And maybe because of that, we're really not as far apart as it may seem. I know it's like the cheesiest message ever, but I feel someone feeling that kind of powerful, poetic, kind of romantic feeling towards someone on a soul level. What else does this Divine Masculine's higher self want to say? The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. The path is now available to you, or a new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. What else does this Divine Masculine want to say on a higher self level? Only time will tell. I'm really hearing this message of like, be patient with me in the physical world. Allow things to unfold. Allow me to continue to download, to integrate this knowing of our connection consciously. And I'm hearing this masculine also invite the feminine, like inviting the feminine to along with him to together release this past, this past of illusion, this past of confusion and to forge this new path together. Let's see if there are any final messages from the Romance Angels deck from this Divine Masculine's Higher Self. What else does this Divine Masculine's Higher Self want to say? Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. There are all these time kind of messages coming up, which leads me to think like, once again, this card, the Patience in Reverse card came out earlier and I feel someone becoming impatient, which potentially could be the feminine, although we will get into that in a minute when we speak to the Divine Feminine. But I'm hearing the masculine re respond to that impatience by saying, let's release the past, let's start a new beginning. Time will allow this connection to unfold. And very soon, something is going to shift. I'm hearing like something's going to shift in the physical very soon, but only if both parties in this connection hold clearly to their intentions, like clear intentions for the future. Because I do feel like there are things muddying this connection. 
when I say muddying, I mean like other interferences or energies like negativity that are kind of trying to veer one or both people in this connection off course. So I'm feeling energetic protection is very important for these twin flames I'm connecting with at this time. Which, by the way, I do have a seven chakra twin flame clearing subliminal. I know I mentioned my general chakra clearing, but this one is actually designed specifically for twin flames. So it is created to release all of the energetic blocks to unconditional love within a twin flame connection and it is these unconditional love blocks that really do prevent movement forward in the physical between twin flames so this is designed to powerfully shift your energy to allow you to really emanate that magnetic vibration of unconditional love that then your twin flame will instantaneously unconsciously begin to respond to because of course twin flames are mere reflections perfect reflections of one another's energy so the link to this twin flame seven chakra clearing will be in the pinned comment and the description box under this video it's funny i was just kind of casually shuffling the angel answers deck as well and the card weights came out do you see all of these time cards only time will tell very soon wait there's this message of not allowing our physical concept of time time passing the passage of time kind of stressing us out from a physical 3d perspective it's like there's some higher self message here coming from the masculine of releasing those time limitations, that perception of time as being limited or as this connection, it's like the perception of it taking too long or not happening on the ego's timeline. The masculine is really asking the feminine to release all of those limiting ideas about time here. So I feel that we've really received a lot of messages from the masculine and now I would like to speak to the divine feminine so i'm going to really shuffle these cards really well because you guys know i like to really try to clear out all of the old energies to channel fresh clear energy for the feminine so what does the divine feminine have to say from a physical 3d perspective okay so clearly the feminine has a lot to say because a card just flew out and this is the contract card in the reverse position so of course this card connects to breaking karmic cycles or patterns so oftentimes when it comes to twin flames this card could connect to a karmic situation ending meaning a sometimes a situation with a karmic partner or even someone platonically who represents some kind of a karmic pattern within us so for the divine feminine i do want to know more specifics so the word strong came out i feel like whatever this karmic contract situation this divine feminine is referring to it had a strong hold or a strong pull on this person i'm not clear yet if we're speaking about a karmic contract for the masculine or for the feminine and again this could be a person but it could also be a behavior pattern so a negative belief system or behavior pattern anything that is interfering with this twin flame connection and again very strongly the fact this card is reversed tells me that this is coming to a close or an end or being broken but for some reason another message i'm hearing is like so for some listening this will be a situation that is coming to an end or has come to an end with a karmic partner person or pattern so that will be the message for some of you for others of you i'm hearing this secondary message that this could also be a, a divine feminine who is wanting a karmic situation to end that the masculine is dealing with so again you might apply or connect with either of these situations but i do feel for some of you this could be a divine feminine who is looking at a karmic situation that a masculine is dealing with and strongly desiring it to end like seeing the hold this karmic person or situation or pattern has over this masculine and strongly desiring it to end and for some reason i heard 
you wouldn't break this karmic contract so i had to take matters into my own hands and break it myself which i'm getting chills for some reason saying that but i feel that there was a feminine who felt as though she became very impatient waiting for this karmic contract to end that the masculine was dealing with this is such a specific message i know this is probably just for one person but it's like she so strongly desired this situation for him to end or it caused her so much pain that she did something that then pushed the masculine it's like accelerated the end of that karmic situation like pushed him to it's like her intention with doing something was to push him to change or to break this contract to like leave this karmic situation yeah, that's kind of the message I'm getting here. Again, that won't apply to everyone. That could just be for one person or a few people. Because for some of you, again, this simply could symbolize that some karmic situation has already ended or is ending. The words church and the name Sally came out, if that connects in any kind of way. This could have some kind of religious factors involved because... The Religious Factors card was coming out a lot in recent readings, so again, that could connect with some of you. Yeah, the word stick came out, so it's like I feel like whoever was in this karmic situation was very stuck in this pattern, whether it was like an addictive pattern or a situation with a karmic person. I want to know more about this karmic situation or this contract card reversed. Door to spirit in the reverse position. Whoever was stuck in this situation was very disconnected from the divine and from their own intuition. That's kind of the message I'm getting from this card. I am going to read a little bit more to see if I can channel more messages about this. Spiritual awakening and new beginning. Yeah, feeling an extreme disconnect. Yeah, there's something here. Okay, so this is reflected on both sides. So what I'm getting with this door to spirit reverse card is this interesting message of like, so someone was stuck in a karmic situation. Again, could be a pattern, an addiction, or a literal karmic connection with a person. And they were disconnected from their own divine path, from their own intuition, which was causing them to remain stuck in this situation. But then because of that person, again, I'm feeling it was the masculine stuck in that karmic situation. They were disconnected from their own intuition. And then it's like when the feminine became aware of this situation and as she became more impatient about it she became increasingly disconnected from her own divine knowing from her own intuition it's like there's this i'm seeing the crown chakra very blocked off here like connection to the divine being very blocked off for this feminine because of her awareness of the masculine being stuck in this karmic situation that's kind of the feeling I'm getting from this card. So I just want to see if there's any more information. Yeah, strategy in the reverse position. Nothing was going according to plan. I feel there was a feminine who was unconsciously maybe not realizing it but trying to control this masculine or control this divine unfolding of this path or control this situation and the way she exercised this control was through having some kind of timeline or plan like we're going to get again this is just an example it won't be this for everyone listening but it could have been oh we're going to have a relationship at this point and then we're going to get engaged and we're going to get married and whatever it was it's like this feminine had a plan and then something happened or came out about this karmic situation this contract reversed some kind of cycle or pattern or person came into her conscious awareness about the masculine and suddenly it's like crap like nothing is going to going according to plan and as she realized that she instantaneously became closed off from her own intuition because it's like she was reeling from this feeling of i'm losing control i want to control this situation or this person or this connection and i can't and for some reason the words cloud rain and spain came out so that might connect with you in some way and also the number 1212 came out while I was meditating and the strategy card is actually the number 21 card, which is of course 12 reversed. So I do feel there's something about the number 1212. So I am going to look up that number. Oh, 
Okay, so for some reason, this is really interesting. The number 1212 can be connected to spiritual growth, the fulfillment of a sacred soul bonds, but also it can have to do with having trust and faith in your twin flame connection and knowing that you are both interested in a stable relationship with harmonious and peaceful existence, which is really interesting because I feel like the message here is like, 12 12 it's like this kind of mirroring like be aware or remember that your twin flame perfectly mirrors your energy which means they also mirror your soul intentions remember if you are a divine feminine connecting with these messages felt yourself losing control losing control of timelines or not being able to see clearly the steps that are going to be taken to fulfill the future of this connection, you're being asked to remember that your twin flame mirrors your soul level intentions. In fact, you created these intentions together prior to incarnating in this lifetime, which inherently means that, because I, I feel like there's some feminine here who's like wondering if her twin flame even wants the same thing that she wants because nothing was going according to her plan. But I feel like you're being told here, if your plan didn't go as you expected it to, then that wasn't your true soul's path or your true soul's plan or timeline, which I feel is going to be a very hard pill to swallow for some because I feel for a divine feminine I'm connecting with, she truly, she's a very spiritual, powerful, intuitive person. And yet when it came to this plan, she thought this plan was her soul's plan, her intuition, but actually this plan was created from some other space, like from ego or the ego's need to have a plan, to have a set timeline. And I'm just hearing like there was a better way. There's a higher way. This is really interesting. And also the word essential came out. It's strange. It's like, I hear a spirit here almost saying, it's like, I know this is a hard message to hear, but it was essential for you to lose control of this situation. It was essential for your plan to go wrong in order to show you the higher plan, to show you the better plan, to reveal to you your true soul's plan. Really like kind of vague message here, but I feel that that's going to apply to someone what else does this Divine Feminine's 3D physical self feel or think at this time? You know, we're already kind of getting messages from this Divine Feminine's higher self, so maybe we should just go ahead and communicate with her higher self, her soul self. By the way, if you are a Divine Feminine connecting with this, and you would like to get more in touch with your intuitive, natural power. I know I already mentioned my Twin Flame 7 Chakra clearing, but I wanted to mention this again just because whenever I'm feeling my intuition blocked, I know that I'm experiencing some kind of interference or block in my third eye or crown chakra, and I will listen to this Twin Flame 7 Chakra clearing specifically to clear intuitive blocks and just to kind of get more of a bird's eye view of myself within my Twin Flame connection and along my Twin Flame path. And whenever I listen to this subliminal, I always feel my intuition and intuitive abilities really ramped up like a hundred times stronger. And if you follow me on Instagram, you see lately I've been posting some channeled kind of thoughts or twin flame poetry. And I actually write these while listening to this twin flame seven chakra clearing because I find I'm able to really tap into my own natural power, intuition, and magnetism through really clearing away these blocks, meditating with this subliminal. So again, the link to this Twin Flame 7 Chakra clearing is in the pinned comment and description box if you'd like to explore more about it. So what does this Divine Feminine's higher self have to say at this time? What messages can we get from this Twin Flame Divine Feminine's Higher Self, the Sun card in the reverse position. 
For some reason I heard you were out of your divine feminine power and you didn't even realize it. This is kind of an odd side message here, but I've been watching kind of my love word scramble words that come out for themes and I saw the word way and I also now I'm seeing the word meal and I saw the word food. So just because all of these kind of food and weight related words are coming out, I want to say there could be a divine feminine listening who has been struggling with body image lately, potentially body dysmorphia, or has been struggling with some kind of eating disorder. Again, I do feel like this could just be like one person listening, but if this is you, I feel like there's some message here of truly learning to fully love, accept, and embrace your physical body, and also to remember that your twin flame is attracted magnetically to you in your highest happiest most authentic most fulfilled state of being and not because your physical body matches some kind of artificially created societal standard and that actually by fixating negatively on your physical appearance you are stepping out of your natural divine feminine power and magnetism and that natural knowing you have on a soul level that you are powerful and beautiful and fully worthy exactly as you are in this moment and there's just some kind of message that someone needed to hear so i really hope that that message reached you and if you are someone who's been feeling a little out of balance in your natural divine feminine energy just not not feeling that natural magnetism and divine feminine power flow. I do have a subliminal for divine feminine awakening. It's called the awakened divine feminine, and it's really designed to assist you in fully activating that powerful yet effortlessly magnetic divine feminine energy, really allowing you to shift that balance within you to feel fully confident and self-loving and self-accepting and powerful and all of those things that really allow us to exude divine feminine power and magnetism magnetism, which of course then naturally shifts the yin yang divine feminine masculine balance within our twin flame connection. And of course our twin flame masculine will instantaneously sense and respond to those shifts within us. So the link to that divine feminine subliminal is in the pinned comment and description box. But the reason I'm saying all of that is because the sun card came out in the reverse position and I instantly heard like someone's divine feminine higher self saying to their 3D physical self, it's like you have been out of your divine feminine power and confidence and magnetism without even realizing it. And I feel that the reason this divine feminine was out of her power is because predominantly self lack of self-confidence and even self-criticism again this could go back to that body image or physical appearance related kind of energy wound or self-criticism but there's just something here of not fully loving and embracing and accepting and feeling confident in yourself this could be something, a dynamic that was happening in the past or the present. And because of this, there was a stepping out of your natural feminine power and energy. As I was saying all of that, two cards had flown out. So I will look at those now. And this was the seventh chakra, the crown chakra reversed, but also the victory card in the upright position. So what I'm hearing here is like this message of... Again, this seventh chakra reverse, this is really synchronistic because this is the crown chakra. And I was just speaking about how this divine feminine is really has stepped out of her power, her natural power and magnetism. And as a result, I see this card saying, as a result of not fully loving, accepting, embracing, feeling confident and powerful in yourself, you were actually disconnected from the divine. And this, in a sense, threw out or is throwing out the balance between you and your masculine. However, with the victory card in the upright position, I'm also hearing this higher self message of, however, do not allow yourself to be worried about these things like yes shift your energy to a more powerful place work on feeling confident in yourself whatever the case may be but at the same time it's like this message of you are going to be victorious over these things you are more powerful than you realize you are stronger than these blocks that may have been holding you back really blocks that i'm sensing were 
negatively programmed into you from a young age. These could be inner child wounds or early family dynamics that somehow negatively impacted your natural divine feminine energy. But whatever the case is, it's like I'm hearing you are going to be stronger than these things. You are going to be victorious over these things. In fact, the reason these wounds are being brought into your awareness, potentially these divine feminine wounds, is so that you can heal them because you are now capable of healing these things, not just for yourself, but for every generation that comes after you. These could be, in fact, generational wounds or what we sometimes call generational curses that you're dealing with patterns of behavior or thoughts that were passed down from one generation to the next subconsciously like in your energy that are now reaching you i do just want to see if i can get any more messages from this divine feminine's higher self so the words behind and love came out and for some reason i heard like Whoa, a lot of cards just flew out. So we'll read into those in a second. But I, I heard this message of always feeling as though you are behind some kind of timeline or falling behind when it comes to love. Like I see someone, a divine feminine who feels like things aren't coming together for you in the right time. Oh, wow, I just felt this wave of sadness. Specifically, I see someone who's watching people around them get married or get engaged or start families. Or perhaps you've already had a family or something, or you went through some kind of a divorce, or there's something like feeling as though things are working out for other people in love, but they aren't working out for you. Like you're always falling behind or behind the times or like things aren't coming together as fast as you want them to. I'm getting goosebumps like so strongly right now. The two cards that came out were a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with lights. I love you. And also secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So what I'm hearing here from this divine feminine's higher self is like, I feel that because of especially these feelings of potentially like self-doubt or low self-confidence or these divine feminine wounds this feminine could be dealing with in the physical, I feel like she may have forgotten her masculine's love for her or not be fully connected to it. And it's like I see her higher self saying this masculine, it's almost like the higher self feminine is connected to the higher self masculine and able to understand that he has deeper feelings for her, that his love for her runs deeper than she realizes consciously in the physical at this time. And it's weird because this message for you, I know we're speaking to the divine feminines, like higher self, but I actually heard this message coming from her masculine. It's like this divine feminine's higher self is reminding her physical 3D self of how the masculine feels for her, regardless of how things are playing out in the physical, like reminding her of the divine love underlying this connection and the truth of that love in spite of all of these physical circumstances. The name Smith came out, could be a last name, and also Mix. I wonder why the, for some reason with Mix, I heard like mixed emotions. For some reason, I heard this Divine Feminine's higher self potentially saying like, I know you've been feeling confused or feeling mixed emotions about this situation in the physical, but then as I was saying that, the Lover's Oracle card that came out is Soulmates. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit, which you guys know this card, when we speak in a twin flame reading about a soulmate card, I take it to also potentially mean twin flame. So it's like your twin flame is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. It's like this irony of in order to manifest deepening connection with the twin flame masculine in the physical, this feminine needs to have the courage, the faith, and the intuitiveness to be able to feel this connection energetically in energetic existence and have faith in that connection before she is seeing it fully manifest in the physical. That's like kind of the message I'm getting here. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Wow, guys, really powerful messages. Notice how in both the divine masculine reading and this divine feminine reading that we've given, 
messages of time and something happening very soon have been coming up. So I am starting a Patreon page and on my Patreon page, I will be actually delving deeper into these messages because I know many of you in the comments have asked for even further clarification. I know I do very in-depth readings here on YouTube, but for those of you who are interested in going deeper and really connecting personally with these readings, I will be on this Patreon page channeling more specific messages for these situations for every one of these readings in the future there will be an extended version and also on my patreon i will be answering questions that you leave in the comments and doing card polls for some of the comments as well and i will be much more active in the community there if you would like more access to me and to my guidance through my patreon page so my Patreon page will be linked below in the pinned comment under this video, as well as at the top of the description box if you'd like to learn more information about that. And for this reading specifically, in the extended version, I will be channeling messages about this shift I am picking up on, this shift that I feel will happen very soon, and what I predict will happen during that shift, as well as more in-depth specific messages from the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So thank you so much for joining me here today in this reading. I do hope these messages connected with you. And as always, please use your own intuition in determining which messages are for you and which are meant for others. Also, all of the subliminals I recommended in this reading, which were my seven chakra clearing, my solar plexus chakra activation, the twin flame seven chakra clearing, and the divine feminine, the awakened divine feminine, all of these will be linked under this video in the pinned comment and description box. You can click any of those links to explore more about each of those subliminals, and you can also try any of them completely free when you create a free trial account on my website soundandsoulful.com. So again, all the information about my Patreon page, this extended reading, and my subliminals is linked under this video. Please do subscribe if I connected with you or any of these messages resonate with you. You can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself, and do be sure to leave me a comment and just let me know how any of these messages connected with you personally or if any of them reached you. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful rest of your day and I will talk to you again in Wednesday's reading.